Charlotte and I met on January the 18th, 2015. It was a few months after moving to Birmingham, and I thought I'd get out there and, s <laughs> and meet someone. Charlotte and I met January the 18th, 2016. With limited social circles in a new city, I thought I'd turn to dating apps. I wanted to get out there, meet someone, but decided to set my search radius to less than a mile. I was, willing to, I was wanting to look for love, but not willing to travel for it. In fact, it was kind of a miracle. We did match because we lived several miles apart, but never would I ever believed that I'd find somebody in the world that I get on with so well with. You're beautiful, intelligent, funny, and even if, even though at the age of 31, you can't brush your teeth without getting toothpaste everywhere. <laughs> You're someone to, who's willing to drag themselves up mountain after mountain, cycle with me over 90 plus kilometers, and with only the minimum amount of complaining. It's a cliche, but you are my best friend, and I love you very much. <laughs> Hi, Stuart. Take you, Charlotte. Hi, Charlotte. Take you, Stuart. To be my wife. To be my husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. For sickness, in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. To death do us part. Till death us do part. According to God's holy law according to God's holy law. In the presence of God, I make this vow. In the presence of God, I make this vow. I therefore proclaim that they are husband and wife. Do you give that a Well, give them a clap. We first met Stuart under the least likely circumstances. One Monday evening in the very early stages of their relationship, Catherine was teaching at home and received a text from Charlotte. Just on way to A&E, as I have split my chin open playing netball, and we hastily made our way to Queen Elizabeth Hospital, Birmingham. Suddenly amongst the crowd in the waiting room, Catherine noticed the tall, distinguished, good-looking man towering above everyone else. She had seen a photo of Charlotte and Stuart before and immediately deduced that this must be Stuart. And at this point, we introduced ourselves. When we asked Stuart where Charlotte was, he explained that she had fainted at the sight of her own blood pouring from her chin and she was behind the scenes recuperating. And we spent the remainder of the evening into the early hours of Tuesday getting to know Stuart very well in a hot, humid hospital cubicle. Little did we know then that we had just met our future son. <laughs> A few years ago, Charlotte went to the toilet and Catherine had our Tinder open and it was actually Catherine who matched Stuart on Tinder, not Charlotte. <laughs> so she was the one that actually is responsible for us being here today. So the mother of the bride is actually the reason everybody is gathered here today. So the good thing is that we can assume at least the parents like Stuart. Well, the mother does anyway. <laughs> Let's raise a drink to the new bride and groom. Thank you very much and cheers everybody. Hey. Cheers.